Broncos undefeated run has come to an end at the hands of Ricky's Raiders with Canberra producing a 20 to 14 victory. Let's get straight into this one. A big turning point of the game was Marty Tapau and Rapana's collision. What did we make of this? It was a big turning point towards the end in the dying seconds. Well, it was a pretty serious injury. Um, I'm, I'm OK with it. Oh, I'm good with it. It was a total accident. You're OK with the penalty? I'm OK with the penalty. Ma Marty, certainly, his intentions weren't to knee Jordan Rapiner in the head and they're pretty graphic um, scenes here. But at the end of the day, you've got a duty of care and when you go down with that sort of intent on a guy catching the ball, um, you have an opportunity to steady and make the tackle in, in, uh, in a safe manner. Um, Jordan Rapiner had no other option. Um, those balls move around and they can move three or four metres um, in the last sort of mi minute and you so see him sort he, of going he, down. When he catches here, Bill, he catches, then he drops. Well, he lunges forward to catch because the ball but moves look, away from him. He catches and then he drops. So he drops his head about, what, a foot? So I don't know what Martin Tapao can do. I, I say no penalty. Well, he, he can steady. He can steady before he yeah, gets but, there. It doesn't matter if he's steadying or not. He, he can't help the... Marty, Rapiner, no idea. Drops. Marty landed five metres past him. Mm. Marty, yeah, but he went in for the tackle. And hey, the Marty had no idea drops. where the ball was, so he, Marty's running, just sprinting as hard as he could. And then when, by the time Rapana gets the ball and drops, it's like that quick. Marty had no idea. He was totally reckless. Mm. But the penalties suffice because he didn't. Okay, he, so they're going on kick rate. They don't. You don't need to watch the ball. You have got right. to watch the target. Come He's on. going to. No. Okay. So my argument is Thomas Flegler gets knocked out in that game when the attacking player gets the ball, gets spun around, a total accident, and his elbow comes up and smashes him in the face. What's Thomas, the difference? Well, he's the defender. He's the defender. Oh, he smashes him in the face. Well, it's an accident, just yeah, like Marty Tapao. No, no, no. You've got responsibility as a defender when you go into the collision that, you know, Flegler has got it wrong. That's all. Like, he's, it's his responsibility to go into the tackle with care. OK, well, how come Marty Tapao... What, tap how come he didn't get charged by the judiciary? He's been, he hasn't been charged at no, all. It looked, all. it looked awful. It was great. Yeah, the blood well, coming they're, out. They're, they're a bit showing a bit of empathy. That The fact is, he didn't deserve it, but he was totally careless, and it absolutely had to be a penalty. Yeah, so, I mean, so we're ruling now on empathy, not on black and white rules in the game. No, no, no. The empathy was that they don't give him weak suspension. You look, at, the, you look at that the, situation and you think, what, what could either of those two players have done? Jordan Rapiner could do absolutely no more than what he did, I don't think. I've been in that position. You don't think uh, Jordan um, contributed because he dropped late with his head? Yeah. So yeah. I was asking you before the show, you would actually catch and you would lean back. Well, if you can get the under the ball and, and go away from he was the contact. He doing that, but he was coming forward. But, but he, he's, he's, he's coming that forward, ball, so he's contributed himself. That ball's moving around all over the place. He, he's only got eyes for the ball. So he ducks his head late and takes his eyes off the target. Marty's the only one that, that could have done something different and he could have steadied. Like, I, I get the pressure and all that, but you have an understanding when you're going down to put pressure on a guy catching a bomb that moves, you know it could go anywhere. You know he could be anywhere when you make contact. So you've got a duty of care not to hit him in the head, whether it's with your knee, your elbow, your arm, whatever, do your you shoulder. Th do you think if Rapiner's injury wasn't as graphic and as bad as it was, oh, that it would no have just penalty. been moved on? Probably. No Probably, yes. Yeah. But, but, but that's the thing. Should we be bringing into account... That's the, the risk you take. But I reckon... Right, if you, so you think they're, if ref you're coming they're referring down, on perception? No, if you're coming down that hard and you're kneeing someone in the head, it's your knee, mm. there's going to be an injury. Mm. But you're coming hard and like, that's your but knee. That's the game, mate. You're competing, you're going as hard... When you're a coach, and obviously both you blokes are saying in origin, I want to see you go as hard as you can. Go and intimidate. Go and be physical. Yeah, but what you've got to do is also not give penalties away. But, but you know, the, big, the biggest accident. balance is to anyone who's, you know, an aggressive player is, right, you, we need to see your aggression, but we also not need you to be on the field and not to give penalties away and put the team under pressure. Marty needed a bit more control. That's all he needed, a little bit more control. He was going purely off what Jordan Rapano was doing. Jordan's just following this ball around, and the last... Part of it, to catch a ball, was actually to come forward, catch it, and then look for safety. So we all agree, but, that if Jordan gets up and plays the ball and no injury and there's, you know, it looked terrible, there was no penalty. Yeah, but I'm saying if you're coming that hard and someone's kneeing you... No, but what I'm saying speed. is even it, the issue it, it, when he hit him, mm. if Jordan just gets up and plays the ball, is it a penalty? But that happens, that happens with hip drops. 
That happens with everything, yeah. If you don't get injured. I see 30 hip drops a, a weekend that don't get penalised. Well, there was another one in the game with Ezra Mem. He tackles mm. Elliot yeah. White. I thought that was a bit harsh. There was the two Elliot situations. Elliot lowers his level. But this is exactly the same argument. Yeah. Because it's not Ezra's fault. It was contributed by Elliot Whitehead. He runs and then drops about that far. And look, Ezra's only, what, 5'9", 5'10". He can't disappear. I, I find that similar to the Marty one. And I find it that Marty didn't get charged shows that, for me, it shouldn't have been a penalty. Well, Josh Papali went off with HIA and nothing happened to that tackle and he got hit high. I thought there was about half a dozen where the, the players well, laid down to Well, Adam Reynolds laid down and said to the ref, look at that man, I got hit in the head. And I applaud and the bunker happened. for that. Mm. 